guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. This guy is out on Global now. Um, I do think that this guy is the best TUR in the game. Um, even though a lot of, you know, really powerful units have come out. You know, there was powerful units before Ginyu came out. Um, I think that they did something with Ginyu, which they have not really done with a lot of characters, which I really like, right? Which is... They gave Ginyu a full team at the same time that they gave him, like, ridiculous power, right? Like, just compare it to, you know, I always, my mind always goes to Raditz, like, you know, gotta be able to fix him, but he just sucks, right? Majin Vegeta, I think, is a much better example of, like, if they drop with Majin Vegeta a Trunks who's really good, who supports Majin Vegeta and is good enough for the highest levels of Red Zone... Like, Majin Vegeta, I think, would be a lot better, right? Um, it's about releasing characters that will make this premium unit shine. I think Dokkan should do a better job of that, especially with, like, the Resurrection F Blues on JP. You know, they're incredible. Their team is going to be good, but they could have used, you know, a banner unit, Super Saiyan Blue, to help them out, more so than Jacko, who has nothing to do with them, really, right? Um, now, again, you did get this. You get the Birder and Jace, you know, one of the best fan units in the game. You get Raccoon and Goldo, without a shadow of a doubt, the best van unit in the game. They're just too good. Um, and then, of course, they also gave us the EZA um, physical Ginyu Force team. So, we are just, like, locked and loaded for the Ginyu Force team with ridiculous power. Now, it's not all 100% like Ginyu's perfect in every way. That's not the way it is, because his Link set, I would say, certainly is not going to be a strength um, if you're trying to take advantage of Ginyu's uh, leader skill. Hit, you know, terrifying conquer 170%. You look at this category, many people, like, characters they love, Cooler, Bojack, Turles, you know, a lot of these really powerful Demon King Pico, Piccolo, Baby, right, Nappa, like, all these types of characters, Golden Frieza, all these Friezas are on the terrifying conquer team, right? And the thing that's unfortunate is that Ginyu doesn't really work well at all with, like, any of those major terrifying conqueror characters. So that is a bit of sort of like a downside. Um, while I think Ginyu is an outstanding unit, I think he's incredible in so many different ways, I don't think he's a great leader. But to be fair, almost none of the 200% leads, I think, are like good leads for a lot of what you want to run with their teams. It's almost like they're intentionally making them this way so that they could like not blanket. So like, okay, okay. It's almost like they're intentionally, like, making these 200% leads kind of restrictive in a way to where Ginyu is for, like, these Ginyu Force units, and then they'll drop, like, another Terrifying Conquer 200% leader, but the 200% would be, like, Wicked Bloodline or something like that, right? Like, it seems like they're trying to steer more in that direction. Rather than drop Captain Ginyu, who's, like, you know, AGL Kid Gohan and just makes the whole team work, it seems like they really are giving you great leader skills, but then to really, like, min-max, they want you to focus on very particular characters. So, I don't know. I, we'll continue to examine it, right? Um, as long as every character is better than Raditz, though, we're good. <laughs> Although Raditz is not a high bar. Um, all right, so let's just jump in. Um, I'm going to, you know, try and get a good look at Birder and Jace and Rakum and Goldo. Look, this is turn one. Look at turn one. Ginyu stacks defense. Birder and Jace build up and get 30% from their super attack effect. Raccoon and Goldo build up. Like, this team, you guys got to understand, if this drops, you know, global players, this is the first Dokkan Fest that released after Red Zone Broly and Omega. So global players are getting a real taste of what power designed for the Red Zone is like, because that's what these characters are. These are characters designed to destroy the entirety of the game, right? All right, so um, keep in mind that Birder and Jace are giving us 60% support, um, and keep in mind that Ginyu is giving the entire rotation 30% support, right? Ginyu gives Ginyu Force category allies 30% attack and defense. Ginyu is also super effective against all types. He has built-in additionals. He's stacking defense. It just... It, they just don't do it like Ginyu. Like, like other... Like, I, no one does it like him, man. It's how it is. Let's see what his opening attack stat is. 6.4, super effective against all types, built-in additionals, right? This is turn one. Wait till you see Goku Ginyu on turn 15, right? Like, that's... Like, this dude is just... It's ridiculous how powerful um, 
Ginyu is. It's it's really stupid. Okay, so here we go. Boom. Another turn. Um, you know, we basically have a lot of these same links activated. This this friend Ginyu is also rainbowed and link level 10, as you guys can see. Um, his link set, by the way, Frieza's Army, Gentleman, Respect, Ginyu Force, Loyalty, Signature Pose, and Fierce Battle. There's one link in particular I really do need to highlight, and that's this one right here. Loyalty. Um, this is two key and five percent damage reduction. And as you guys can see, all of these main bad boys have all got that. And physical LR Ginyu and tech LR Ginyu. All these big Ginyu Force units have got this loyalty link. So these characters are all getting damage reduction on top of their high stats. I, I feel like pretty much the whole team having five percent damage reduction does matter when these bosses are doing over a million damage to you right we're used to doing mi a million damage to the bosses well now the bosses are capable of doing that to us right and it's like that damage reduction helps for sure um yeah sure let's just go ahead and let's see what this ginyu does right here on this turn um it's very difficult to showcase what ginyu is capable of in basically anything except the red zone uh, just being flat out you can't use ginyu in the god event like you you're gonna one turn the gods while taking no damage right there's not I, like, there's... It, it, Ginyu is literally an anti-red zone unit. Like, that's what he's designed for. It's, you know, could not be more obvious whatsoever. So, it's like, I, I don't know. I guess most of this showcase, I really probably should go into um, the red zone and we could try and take advantage of that. Um, now, remember, on turn four, we can transform and swap bodies with Goku and we could hear... You know, Diavolo King Crimson. We can hear the amazing voice acting. Ginyu heals. You know, he switches up how he does things. He gets a scouter. He just gets, like, very, very nasty. Um, we'll be able to take a look at that in a second. Okay. Let's... This is... Yeah, so he does one super attack. And then on the next turn, we're at 400 k <laughs> See, dude... You guys, like, like, yeah, this is, this is, this is what we're talking about when it's time to beat Red Zone. These are the characters for Red, like, you know, that's why, like, it's like, I have to cope through, like, Majin Vegeta. It's like, yeah, Majin Vegeta, it's a sick 4 million attack set, man. It's good. Oh, Raditz, he's, he's at, like, 300k defense or something, I think. Right? And it's like, then I can, like, use Ginyu, and it's like, oh, triple 8 million attack set, super effective against all types. Thanks, Ginyu. <laughs> all right, I love it. I love it, man. Um, throughout this video, too, I guess we'll, we'll get a look at a lot of the Ginyu Force units, right? Like, you know, I'm marketing this as the Captain Ginyu Showcase, but, like, yeah, see, there you go. 8 million super effective install types, and he has built-in additionals. One more. One more, but it's only a normal again. So, I mean, it, it's, like, already, like, five seconds into the video. You guys, you see it, right? Like, like his power, I feel like, should be exploding off of the screen. I, I, I think it's fairly obvious um, how dirty, filthy, nasty this guy is. All right, let's do this. Let's just get this attack set. Um, and I guess, I mean, again, with these Ginyu Force units, they're so powerful. It's very difficult to... I guess I could, I could go into, like, the... I could probably go into, like, the GT Goku event. Like, take some damage early, or, like, the Legendary Vegeta event, get get uh, swapped into Goku Ginyu. That's what I want to do. Let me... I'm going to cut. I'm going to try and get, to, you know, Goku Ginyu out on, like, turn four and like, the Legendary Vegeta event or GT Goku event or something like that. Let's look at him, and then um, I, I guess what we'll do to finish it off... Maybe we'll try a Broly no-item red zone attempt. Maybe this will be the run I get it done. Who knows? But uh, we'll, we'll give a, a red zone Broly no-item attempt uh, try at the end. I think that'll be a, a just a good way to show, like, you know, what Ginyu will be able to do, you know, against a lot of these uh, major, major bosses in here. All right, guys, here we go. We are on turn four, and we're going to be able to get uh, Goat Ginyu out. So, you can do the transformation into Goku Ginyu. Um, it has to be turn 4 or later, and then under 70% HP. Honestly, the transformation condition is really not that bad. Turn 4, of course, is usually quite good. Um, and then under 70% HP, it's more of a thing like when you need it, you'll get it, right? Um, it is, of course, an active skill that you could choose to do. Because maybe, for whatever reason, you might want to continue stacking defense, right? Because, um... Ginyu no longer stacks defense once you transform and take Goku's body. 
Let's just go ahead and do this. Let's see what, it, what uh, defensive set we're at. 328k. All right, remember, we could sit here and stack with Ginyu for 500 years and then transform. Or we go for maximum firepower and transform early. Let's go ahead and transform right now and see go to Ginyu. <laughs> All right, so once we do that, um, now Ginyu is in, you know, Goku Ginyu mode. Um, so at this point, he no longer is supporting, right? He's more about big time firepower, right? Because now he's getting 200% attack and defense start a turn, another 50% on super attack. He has a guaranteed additional. It's a medium chance of being a super. And then he gets 10% attack, defense, crit, and dodge um, based upon how many attacks he does. So after five attacks, he'll get an extra 50% attack and defense, 50% chance to crit, 50% chance to dodge. He also has a high chance to get a scouter if Jace is on the team. Unfortunately, though, you know, the way those work, you basically just have to always assume you're getting super attacked if you don't see the scouter effect activate. And it's just Jace on the team, right? Um, so uh, the Birder and Jace unit does count right here. Um, Ginyu's links do not change too, by the way. So he is going to uh, have 7 out of 7 with the other Captain Ginyu, which is going to be on this rotation shortly. So, all right. Um, goodbye, Vegeta. <laughs> goodbye, Bozo. See ya. Yeah, this is going to be a little painful. Um, we got a lot of links active. We have a lot of support on rotation. Um, let's see Goat Ginyu, you know, turn one in, you know, this form. Now, remember that every super attack Goat Ginyu does, he is stacking attack as well. That's not really too crazy. 5.4, right? Like, we, we're, we're gonna, it's, it's, <laughs> he builds up. Uh, he really gets very nasty as he attacks going. Yep, okay. Especially if we're gonna be multiple super attacking like this. Um, now, you can rock both Captain Ginyus together. Quite honestly, that's something I don't... Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> but, um... Oh, oh, by the way. Uh, on uh, Goku Ginyu's first turn, notice he's, he's super effective against all types. The very first turn, he keeps the super effective against all types that base Ginyu has. Um, LR, Goku, and Piccolo's exchange unit works the same way, where um, if you still have your guard active and you swap into Piccolo, Piccolo will still be guarding that first turn. Right, so that is something to keep in mind, right? Is that if you exchange into Ginyu, um, you are going to be super effective against all types on that first uh, turn, right? To, you know, sort of do a lot of damage and look really good and shit like that. Um, sure, we'll do this. Um, Raccoon and Goldo, remember that they are guarding um, just as long as there is a Ginyu um, on rotation, right? So the LR physical Ginyu counts, um, the tech LR Ginyu counts, and then, of course... EGL Ginyu's, Int Captain Ginyu, all, any, like, normal Captain Ginyu unit counts. Um, Raccoon and Goldo, they do need to build up by being hit a couple of times. It's not going to be an issue, I mean, as you guys are going to see. This unit, I mean, I don't know if I want to say definitively they are the best Super Battle Road unit in the game, but Raccoon and Goldo is probably the best Super Battle Road unit in the game. They greatly lower attack on Super Attack. Um, they uh, seal the enemy for that turn when they attack. And then with uh, Ginyu on rotation, they have a 50% chance to stun them um, for that rotation as well. So it's just, they completely lock down um, the enemy rotation. It, it's just, it's very sickening what they're capable of doing, right? Just like locking the enemy rotation down, um, you know, in Super Battle Road stages. Like, it's it's a joke, right? Like, that's, uh, it's funny. I remember my original Terrifying Conqueror run. Where it's like, I got like, you know, two minutes in and I was like, oh my god, like, why am I even using items? This is a joke. This, yeah, I was using the Ginyu Force team. <laughs> We're using the Ginyu members, man. They're, they're just different. And um, so, like, right now, when it comes to, like, characters that are good, um, there's two things I look for. Like, where are they good? Like, how are they good? Um, I think being effective in the red zone is what really matters. 
because, you know, while people can say, oh, more in the game matters than the red zone, that's fair, but the next content that comes out is going to be harder than the red zone. So if we're already coping for units that can't be in the red zone, then that means we're going to be double coping when they can't do whatever comes next, right, which is going to happen. But besides that, I do think character performance in Super Battle Road stages matters a lot, right? So uh, that is basically the most frequently updated content in the game, Super Battle Road stages. So I think characters like Heart Virus Goku, um, uh, STR Super Vegeta are still really, really good, even if they can't be used basically to full potential in Red Zone stages, right? Um, and the thing about all these Ginyu Force members, they clown the Red Zone up and down. But, I mean, let's take a look at some of these um, categories that they're on, right? Planet Nanak Sagas, kind of tough Super Battle Road stage they can obliterate. Ginyu Force, right? Uh, you know, uh, like Special Pose is another one, right? Like, they're on a, a couple of tough stages. And any of these, like, uh, Super Battle Road stages that might happen, you know, it's so like Space Traveling Warriors or Dragon Ball Seekers or something like that, just straight up using the Ginyu team is going to be utter decimation, right? So it's, you know, those are really the two things I'm looking for right now, is how good a character might perform in Super Battle Road stages, and then, of course, also how good they're performing in Red Zone. Those are the two things that we really are looking for, right? Um, okay, so on this turn, we have seven out of seven. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Goodbye, Vegeta. Uh, remember, this is going to be Ginyu's fourth attack, right? So um, we're going to do this attack, and then he could still do... Uh, one more after this attack to build up to full power. Um, remember, you could... Oh, yeah, there's the dodges kicking into play. Uh, 8.54, right? And it's like he continues to stack attack from his super attack effect. He's going to be able to build up his attack um, from his pass as well. Okay, so now he's fully built up. Uh, and then, yeah, okay. So now we're at 10 million. <laughs> now we're at a 10 million attacks that have 50% chance to crit, right? He's got the scouter, you know. Potentially, we could have been had much higher defense in this. Um, remember, he healed us when he swapped out. It, it's just, it's, it's just very silly. This unit is very silly. <laughs> uh, th this guy is uh, a, a jokey joker. Um, I guess let me just do this. We'll, we'll just quickly uh, burn through this rotation. Um, I'll probably finish this run right here, and then I think what we'll do is we'll go into a uh, a Broly run. Uh, we'll, we'll go give um, uh, Red Zone Broly a no item attempt. I, I, I feel like that'll be a good way to end this video. Um, and we'll see what it looks like. So let me know what you guys think of Ginyu. Um, I think it should be, it should be, it really should be fairly obvious to see how good the Ginyu Force team is. Judging by the, the reception to Ginyu and all these characters, uh, it, at first I think some people were a little bit hesitant or reluctant. But at this point, it's like, I feel like only like, like dummies are like doubting the power of these Ginyu Force units. Like it's, it's, it's obvious, right? Like how good they are. Um... So, it's like, yeah, it, it is exciting that they're dropping on Global, but be careful summoning for them, because you do have to pull all of them, right? It's not like 7th anniversary, you pull LR, Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, you did it, you won, you're done. But it doesn't really work that way. Going for these Ginyu Force units, you really want the full team to be able to see their full effects and how crazy they can be. Um, he's up to 567. Out. Look how much his defense has jumped up, just like from his own natural build-up passive, not really stacking defense. Right, remember, we, we easily could get way higher in terms of his defensive ability. Um, all right, so this is going to be, what, like 11 million right here? Uh, something like that. He has 50% chance to dodge as well. 11 million? Yeah. Yep, he just keeps going. That boy just keeps going. <laughs> and it's, he, we're just going to keep going. We're, you know, 50% chance to crit, by the way. He didn't do it, but he could have. Oh, not done yet. <laughs> Not done yet, Vegeta! Are you gonna be okay there, brother? I don't think you are. One more. Oh my god, yeah. See? <laughs> yeah. That's 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 him. He is him. Ginyu is him. Alright, here we go. Um, I think we can pretty much finish this turn off or this this run with this right here. Uh I think we could actually get taken out by Vegeta right here, because I didn't really stack up too much. Um, not really a big deal. I was just trying to show off Ginyu's attacking power um, for this one. Let's see. Um, I think... Actually, no, we, no wait, wait. What am I... Dude, Vegeta can't kill us. What am I thinking? <laughs> Even with his, the defensive lowering, there's no way in hell he could kill us. This is craziness. All right, goodbye, Vegeta. See ya. <laughs> 
Oh, you couldn't have given us a triple super then. Damn it, just normals. All right, buddy. All right, so there's Ginyu. Um, really disgusting character. Let's try a no item run against Broly and see how we do. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into a red zone Broly attempt with the Ginyu Force team. Um, I easily could have gotten this done months ago just by swapping um, probably like EGL Golden Frieza over Raccoon. And then maybe even like just like Tech Golden Frieza over Bird or something like that. Could have easily gotten this done no item run, right? But uh, I want to do it with specifically the Ginyu Force. Um, so this is what I've been rocking. Okay, we got, we got good opening rotation, so we've got a, a decent chance here. It's just what makes it so tough to no item the Broly fight is his AoE phase. Um, yeah, we'll do this. This will suck if Raccoon is not guarding. It, it's just all of my runs end to one of three things. Raccoon not guarding, and then he takes a million, a billion damage. Um, Birder not getting enough super attacks, so he gets crunched. Or physical LR Ginyu, um, getting hit by Broly's AoE. Those are basically the only three things that ever kill me. Um, I usually don't really have difficulties with a lot of these other phases and stuff like that. It's just, against Broly specifically, it is very... Ugh, good thing he was guarding. Um, against Broly specifically, it is it is pretty tough to hide uh, characters. Uh, if you're not running the 7th Anniversary LRs on your team, it's just really tough to hide from Broly. He's, he's relentless, right? Because um, you go from the AoE super attack phase into him attacking 12 times per turn or whatever it is. And supering twice per turn for 1.2 million damage. It's just very, very difficult to survive against AGL and SDR Broly in here. Um, and of course, you can't dodge, right? So that's that's one thing is uh, Broly is able to counteract Ginyu a little bit. So uh, in these fights, I actually do want to try um, and like not finish Broly as fast as possible. And I want to stay in base Ginyu as long as possible, too. Um, ah, damn. Okay. I See, we're, we're, we're not looking super great here because Birder is not going to be able to get um, super attacks in potentially until we get to AoE Broly. So we're not, uh, unfortunately, we're not looking good. Um, like, a, a great run would involve uh, Ginyu not going crazy against STR Broly, right? Just like a super attack and then, like, he doesn't really additional anything too crazy. Um, and then, like, Birder... Birder can triple super, and remember, Birder stacks defense. So Birder being able to stack up a lot early is just, it's very helpful. Because, you know, once you get to AGL Broly, he's got 400k attack, right? So it gets very, very troublesome. Um, okay, we, it, th this is where death really is uh, very likely every single turn, right? Um, I am going to hit these orbs just to try and give us a little bit of extra healing. Uh... Ginyu will survive a super attack, even from this guy. Because uh, Ginyu has already super attacked. He's going to have super attack multiple times. We're getting the support from Birder and Jace as well. So we're definitely going to be looking pretty good. But Raccoon can sell us. Uh, if Raccoon on any given turn is not guarding, well, you know, we, we could be looking at the nice watery death. <laughs> Remember that Birder and Jace, a huge portion of their kit, by the way, um, is the fact that they are going to be uh, dodging, right? But that, of course, does not work in here. We, again, we can eat a super attack from this Broly. Um, what would be bad is if Raccoon doesn't guard. If Raccoon doesn't guard, we're probably just dead here. I don't know. There's too much we could do about it. We did a lot of damage to Broly. This is good. Actually, hold on. We have a real shot of making it past AoE Broly. Our rotations are lining up perfectly. Please don't super attack. Okay. Okay. Wow, holy shit. We... Ah, no. This is the... Damn. Nah. Psych. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Because Birder and Jace are on the next turn. We'll see. We'll see. We, we potentially could. Um, let me grab all these STR orbs right here to heal us up a little bit. I would like to sort of get us up to full health here. Um, I can do this. Yeah, let's also do this. All right. So now we get to AoE Broly. This is where... AoE Broly is where no item runs and shit die. And there's not really too much you can do about it. Um, they haven't been hit yet, right? So this might do a bit of damage. It's not really too bad. Um, so basically the way this goes is 
we didn't get perfect RNG to AoE Broly, so we lost already, right? Like, I, I've i made it past AoE Broly a few times. There is, you know, times where, like, he doesn't super attack right away, which we can make it past. Um, and then if, like, Ginyu, like, triple supers, triple crits or something like that, right? Like, he can disintegrate, a like, AoE Broly. But it's just, like, Birder and Jace can eat the super attack if they're able to, like, double or triple super first. Um, the problem here is that Birder has not super attacked yet. So, he's not cooking. Oh, uh, wow. Well, fun, fun, fun. Yeah, we're... There's just not... Not really too much I could do here. Well, I mean, that that is what the, the Broly runs look like. Go ahead. Just get it over with. Okay. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's pretend that Broly's not going to super attack on this turn. Uh, or if Broly super attacks last slot, we could be okay. Damn. Ah, all right. Yeah, Birder and Jace, they have to super attack first. So it, it's tough to survive rotations. Like, we want to try and aim to get um, Raccoon and Goldo on turn one when we reach this Broly. But, it, like, it's not like I could just decide that, right? Like, uh, it, it's, it's it, like the, the AoE phase is really what is difficult because, you know, Birder and Jace are a dodging character. You know, Ginyu can be a dodging character. The AoE phase is, is is really what I have the most trouble with with the Ginyu Force team. Um, and it's like, you, you pretty much have to go with this. Now, we know, right, that um, the LR Tech Ginyu Force, they're actually getting um, an easy A in this celebration on JP. So, we might be able to see, uh, you know... I, I think with them, the furthest I ever made it in that Broly fight, I was using that this Tech Ginyu Force. Um, but I died because they got supered by AGL Broly, so they had type advantage. And they took 425k from a super attack. Um, but now, I probably will take Birder off of the team and put the Tech Ginyu Force on there. And I think I should be good to go. Or maybe I'll take Raccoon off. Raccoon and just Birder. I, I don't know. Birder or Raccoon. Like, if I could get rid of both Birder and Raccoon, I'd be good. Um, when Ginyu returns and I could use his SSR as well. That's, whew, easy. You know, Ginyu's SSR plus this unit, easy aid, and I could do it in probably one try. Um, but the, the issue is just, you know, a couple of units just get tagged by Broly and GG. So, there we go. We, we did a nice, uh, good look at our boy Captain Ginyu, Goat Ginyu. Um, let me know what you guys think of him, but obviously, as you guys can see, he is a dirty, nasty, filthy beast. Him, Birder and Jace, Raccoon and Goldo, the physical LR Ginyu, very, very powerful units indeed.